living the dream hey guys thanks for checking out rocky mountain backcountry today come along with us on this little uh off-road off-grid overland expedition we're doing right now all right it's not an expedition we just had to get the machines out go for a little ride um i had to go on this little trail here that i absolutely love it's up behind my house in the foothills and uh you'll see in the footage it's pretty tight but it's private ground and it's not restricted to any 50 inch trails so anyway uh enjoy this little video show you guys a little bit about this machine in the tight stuff and in the trees and uh we'll go from there so thanks for checking out rocky mountain backcountry you guys let me know down below leave a comment and let me know what you think about these tight trails and putting a bigger machine in tighter spots if you guys are afraid of the the rocky mountain pinstripes I don't know if we did too much damage today or not, but it's coming, I promise. know how much I love that little unit right there. Hey guys, smash the like button for my effort to come back and forth and get the camera. Thank you very much. <laughs> One thing I really do like is uh, hearing that turbo noise. That's kind of cool, right? <laughs> I love it. So now we're on this tight little trail that I was telling you about. And uh, we get into some tight bushes and there's probably six or eight inches of snow here. It's old snow so it's really soft and slushy. And uh, the old Rocky Mountain Backcountry X3 might end up with some pinstriping after today.
All right, guys, I gotta be honest with you. My favorite videos are not this, looking at a trail the whole time. So, let's get some more of the machine. How about that? This is one of the tighter trails that I like to do. And, uh, you know, so far so good. I don't think we have much damage, any damage at all. We have been, hey, see this? We get real close to the trees, but who doesn't mind a little pinstripe here and there? So anyway, Doing good in the snow too. I really like the Maxxis Liberty tires, even in the snow. Ah, you guys can hear that. The roof is getting it. you guys we're collecting juniper leaves so this is a little bit narrow for a narrower part of the trail see this behind me here this is just kind of a little technical spot on this trail in the uh, well you can see there's a wash going down right here and it just kind of gets a little off camber and it's quite narrow but I know it's probably it's not sand hollow right but this is one of the spots that I like and um, I say a tight trail it's not necessarily the width of the machine but it is a bigger machine and so like this it causes a little bit more <laughs> it causes me a little bit more stress and not wanting to scratch it right
right, you guys, I know that was kind of short and sweet, but my takeaway from today, uh, you know, I don't think the smaller trails are going to be too much of an issue for me. When it comes down to it, this machine isn't a lot wider, but I think we're okay on the uh, on these tighter trails. So I've got some stuff coming up you guys don't want to miss. I've got uh, uh, my son-in-law, who's kind of a rookie driver on these side-by-sides, but we're gonna put him in both machines and kind of get his take. And we're gonna ride both machines together and take turns on the machines and find out exactly, you know, the differences and what we like and what we don't like. So subscribe right now and watch for a upcoming video on a really in-depth comparison on these two machines. But anyway, you guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Let's go for another ride. We'll go off-road, off-grid, over land. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one coming up. And that's it for tonight. We're out of here.